Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we actually beat Fearsome, as well as the Greater Daemon of all things. Uh, we're taking on the different dungeons, and we're having a grand old time. We're trying to save dear old dad. So, rather than go and start with combat, I'm actually going to start by doing a request here, because I want to get some of these done while we take care of those things. Um, yeah. A request from Lionel. Somebody mistook me for a girl today. It's been kind of bothering me. Something's bothering me. And we're gonna do this before we actually do the request, because we're running a long time. Um, you know, let's learn mom's cooking. Our first recipe is fried eggs. First, crack a small egg and mix it well. Next, add a finely chopped turnip. It adds sweetness and texture. The next recipe is good for breakfast or a snack. It's French toast. First, crack a small egg and mix it well. Then, dip some bread into the egg batter. Finally, cook it in a frying pan coated with oil. Next is hot milk. Simply heat small milk slowly in a pot over a low flame. Next is curry rice. This one's a bit more complicated. First, chop a carrot and then place it into a pot. Next, add water and curry powder and slowly heat it over a low flame. Be careful not to burn it. Next, use some red grass to add color and flavor. Add some rice on the side and it's ready! If it's too bland, you can add some heavy spice. Finally, we'll try this. Apple pie. First, peel and core an apple. Next, add some honey to make it sweet. Then, make a pie crust using flour. Spread some butter on the surface, and then put it in the oven. That's all. Alright. Dang. Alright, mom's cooking was a waste, but we've done that, so I have to remember that. Let's... let's check out Eastern cooking. I don't know what Chinese is. We'll try some exotic recipes. Let's start with some fried rice. First, put some oil in a frying pan and heat it. Next, crack open a small egg in the frying pan. Then, add some thinly sliced green pepper. Then, add a finely chopped leek. Work quickly or it'll start to burn. Finally, add the rice. Be careful not to stir up the pan too much. Next is a recipe for tasty, crispy gyoza. First, use flour to make the wrappers. When the wrappers are ready, chop some cabbage. Next, chop up some onion. Wrap them, then place them in a frying pan coated with oil. Next up is a meat dumpling. First, finely chop some cabbage. Next, add some chopped onion. Then, some shrimp. Again, make sure it's finely chopped. Next, add some green grass. This can be put on top or mixed into it. Wrap it up in a thinly a rolled flour wrapper, then steam. We'll try this one next. It's a Chinese manju. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll chop up a bamboo sprout. Next, chop up a carrot in the same way. Now, let's make the wrappers. Add water to some flour and knead. Next, add some mixed herbs and that's all. Mix the steamed gyoza. The basics are the same, but it's high, but slightly different. First, try first finally chop up some cabbage. Next, chop up an onion. Wow, you're chop you're a chopping expert. Then add some oil to keep the vegetables from drying out. Finally, put the vegetables in some flour wrappers, and then steam until ready. All right. 
So we'll see if either of those really worked, but I wanted to get those done. Morning. Here's something else, Arya. I never thought you'd achieve so much. Morning. Morning, Arya. You're so amazing, Arya. I totally changed the way I see you, T. Morning. Hi, Arya. Hello, Arya. You did great, Arya. I can't believe it. It said you did it, Arya, but you know, whatever. Barrett, look at this tablet. This one has Earth script on it, too. If we put all the fragments together, we might be able to read it. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. My, your face is suddenly starting to look up so handsome and manly. Children certainly do grow up in the wink of an eye. Handsome and manly is not something you want to say to a little girl. Unless they want to be handsome? I don't know, man. Good morning. Hello, Arya. You grew up so fast and must say you're really starting to look like Kyle, too. Do people not realize that I'm a girl? Well, to be fair, Kyle isn't exactly, like, you know, buff and macho, so it's not an insult, I guess? I saw your message on the board. Ah, you made it, Ari. What's up? Well, something's been bothering me. People always tell me that I don't look like a boy. But I am a boy. What about makes, what about me makes me seem like a girl? Hmm. It might be how you look. How I look? Maybe... But what should I do? Well, why don't you try making a scary face? A scary face? Yeah, see? You always look so friendly, Lionel. Maybe you should try the opposite and look fierce. Hmm, like this? <laughs> That's not scary at all, Lionel. Really? I tried so hard. I guess it didn't really work. But I think your, fr your friendly face... But I think I like your friendly face better anyway, Lionel. Really? Yeah, this version of you is a lot easier to talk to. <laughs> well, if you think so, then that's the important thing. Yeah, so don't worry about it, Lionel. Okay. Well, thanks for listening to me, Arya. No problem. <laughs> okay, see you later. Quest complete, I think? And let's see his dialogue. Morning. You can handle anything, Arya. I really respect you. Thank you. Alright. Um... I'm out of bath oils. A request from Julia. I ran out of bath oils. It'd be really great if you went and got some more for me. I don't know what this one is off the top of my head. But I figured, you know, might as well give it a shot. She's over here, isn't she? She's over here. Ah, you're here. Yep. What do you want me to do? Well, I want you to get some black grass for me. It's really good for your skin if you put it in the bath. But unfortunately, my supply just ran out. So, if it's not too much trouble, could you go and get some for me? No problem. I'll do it. Really? Thanks. It's weird, because I thought you didn't run the bath anymore. So I guess it's for personal use? I don't know. Man. Ah, you got it for me. Now I can put as much in my bath as I like. Thanks. Here's your reward. 400G. Thanks. I'll call on you again if I need some more help. Sure. Alright. Now here at the chemistry station, we are going to need one green, one blue grass, one medicinal herb, and one empty bottle. I'm going to double check that I can make this. Yeah, it's a level 16. I, you know, have 100%. Healing potion created. And the other one we're going to make is going to require a green, a blue, a medicinal, a honey, and an empty bottle. I just realized we have a 19% chance. Time to see if I fail or not. Dang it. Skill level increased, finally. Finally, a mystery potion success. 
Alright, got us halfway up to the next level. That's fine by me. A mystery potion. A light liquid medicine. Drink for 600 HP recovery. So, it's almost a full heal for us. This is only a 300 HP recovery, which is fine. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to need to make my way to the top left corner of this map. Last episode, I popped up a little thing saying, hey, I wasn't going to show off bosses. And the reason for that is that during the editing process, I decided I wanted to kind of make a guide out of this. So, ow. That swing is about to hurt me, isn't it? Oh, that was my own fault then. So because of that, one may only enter the temple alone. Let's see how I do. Um, okay. So, because of that, I'm going to be playing through the rest of this before we ever cover any of that. Level up. Nice. Alright, uh, left or right? Always go left. Hmm, nothing happens. Dang it, should've gone right. Easy peasy. Alright, left. Nothing happens. Dang. I feel like a lot of this is just gonna be battling and me kind of fumbling. So, I'll pick up whatever I get from this, and I'll just probably ship a lot of it, because I have a lot of this already stocked up, but we'll see. Hmm, nothing happened. Why is it always right? <laughs> I'm being attacked by panthers. Gotta go left. Oh, wow, okay. In this one, apparently you just have to go right. I get it. I'm always wrong. There we go. Wow. <laughs> I've gotten the 50-50 wrong every time by just holding left. I'm gonna guess the theme of this is right. Next time, I'm trying right. Let's try right. You're kidding me. Alright. Oh, you don't even need to... Wild. Alright, left. There we go. Easy peasy, left it is. What a pain in my butt. All just left now. And boss battle time. Um Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hi there. Chimera. Oh, it looks really strong. <laughs> Gonna run away as a coward does, I see. Water lasers, your paralyzing breath attack. I'm assuming it's paralyzing based on the color. You're not even gonna claw me or anything?
Okay. Get some extra hits in this way. Oh, it tried to eat me. Did a very bad job of it. That was... <laughs> ah. Oh, that's funny. Love up. <laughs> That attack's not a good one because it just kept hitting me out of the way of the attack, so I get hit by one of it. Like, one tick of it. Well, I managed to defeat it. I got another stone tablet. I think I'll go show my teacher, Barrett. I wonder what I need to do to leave. I've already gotten stone tablets, so I think I'll just go back. I want a lesson. Time to start class. Okay, uh, hammer stuff. I guess we're back to this. Um, I guess I'm going to take care of hammer basics and elemental hammers. Actually, I don't trust either of those to work correctly. I'm going to take care of hammers too and final hammers, and if both of those work, the next time we come to this, we'll be down to just hammer basics and elemental hammers, and I'll know it did not work after that. Let's begin our next lesson. I'll start with the spiked hammer. First, you need a great hammer to use as the base. You'll make the spikes with silver. Join the hammer and its handle with a shoulder piece. To strengthen the hammer, add glue. A cheap cloth to serve as the grip. To finish it off, add a quality fur. Any questions? Next is the gigant hammer. You'll need to start with the great hammer. What a great hammer. Next, you also need gold, which you should cover with an insect jaw. For the pointed end, you'll be using a wolf thing. To stop the hammer from slipping, add a spore. Finally, add a hammer piece to the hammer. That's crazy. Imagine adding a hammer piece to a hammer. Alright, final hammers. Today we'll start with the poisonous bone hammer. You will first need a schnabel. Next we'll start striking the hammer with a hammer piece. You will also require a rage fang for the hammer head. A devil horn will make a proper sturdy handle. Then use some gunpowder. Be careful though. Finally, strengthen the poison with devil blood. Next will be the crystal hammer. First, prepare an ice hammer. Strengthen the entire hammer with gold. Yeah, strengthen it with gold, sure. Next, fashion spikes out of a water crystal. Use a hammer piece to fasten them on. Wielding this hammer will put a lot of strain on your hand. To compensate. To compensate, wrap a quality cloth around the grip. You can also include a silk cloth to finish it off. And that's it. Parrot, look at this tablet. Tablet. This one has Earth script on it too. If we put all the fragments together, we might be able to read it. Yeah. Same thing. All right. From the top of the bridge, we come up here to the temple. Gotta go left. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. I was finally able to open this up, technically. But at that point, I didn't need to. Really? Alright, well, that's on me, I guess. There we go. Alright, hang left on this one. Nope. 
I'll keep hitting left until eventually you give it to me. Weird, I feel power surging within me. Easy peasy. Combo. Whatever. You put a couple bowls right next to a freaking squirrel? That's weird. You guys are weird. Again. You just chose a different squirrel this time. One that was a little less afraid. Luffle up. Nice. Nothing happened once again. Alright, is it finally left? No. I guess I'm going to be going this battle with very little energy if I mess this one up. Um... Excuse me. Let's see. There we go. Weird power. Perfect timing. Oh, hey. We're at the bottom again. And now... The Golem. Another huge one! Just occurred to me I probably shouldn't be using Earth against this. Uh, water laser. I mean, it's hitting multiple times, so might as well. Water laser is actually doing more. I win. Yep, spam to win. <laughs> got an ancient stone tablet fragment. Well, I managed to defeat it. I got another stone tablet. I think I'll go show my teacher, Barrett. Okay. Let's go back. Barrett, look at this tablet! This one has Earth script on it too. If we put all the fragments together, we might be able to read it. Yeah! I figured it was all gonna be the same, but I wanted to, you know, just be sure. So, we have one, two, and three. Apparently, this isn't a part of that. Interesting. Um. So, just one more. All right, now here in the final one, to the top right corner of the map. Let's move on. Um... I was hoping that would do more because he is a, you know. What a pain in my butt. Oh, 
Okay. Is it to the left? Nothing happens. All right. Okay, so it only does one damage each, which basic fireball also only one damage each. I guess they have high magic resistance. Need to cure this if I want to be able to hit. Level up, once again. Now I'm curious. I need to heal just in case, because I want the XP, but... I feel power surging. Nope, does not cure status ailments. That's what I need to check. Okay, cool. Energy back. Yeah, combine a little bit of magic in there and you're pretty much set on these. Especially if you know which one's gonna give you the RP back. Or you just brought some food and whatnot. I know these guys aren't gonna take damage from water. They're fish. That'd be silly. I could face this the correct way, yeah. And these guys are also pretty basic, so. Skill up, apparently, without any audio. Because you gotta love that. Alright, uh, we are completely full at this point. Toss that. Alright, should have gone right. Oh, well. I win! There we go. What an annoying room. Nice. Alright, final gauntlet. And then... No. Oh. Sonic win! Yeah, only seven. All right. All right, wait. We're gonna feel the power. Yep. Yep. All right, boss time. The Grimoire. Not what I was expecting. Alright. Oh, it looks really strong. I wonder how it handles water laser. Like 10 damage each. Ow, it hurt so bad. I beat an actual grimoire. You're a fake. You're a fraud. Why is this only doing one damage each? Hey, you can paralyze me. 
What a pain. Keep hitting it during its transformation to try to get as much damage as possible, and I'm paralyzed. Alright, how does this change now? I think it was shooting wind at me. Sonic Wind! There. Level up again. Ancient stone tablet fragment. Well, I managed to defeat it. I got another stone tablet. I think I'll go show my teacher Barrett. Not what I meant to do. Go back. Barrett, isn't this all the fragments? Yes, it looks like it. I did it. Can you read what it says? It says Omnigate. Could that be... I don't know yet. It seems to be a type of teleportation spell. Yes! But I don't know what it does exactly. I'll hold on to it for now. What? No! Teleportation magic is dangerous, Arya. What if you transport yourself to another world and you couldn't make your way home? Well... Regardless, I'm gonna hold on to it for the time being, understood? Yes, sir. Alright. Well, uh, we lost our thing. <laughs> That is each of the fragments. We're only missing one thing, which I'm guessing is Omnigate. Alright. Let's chat with him. I'm gonna hold on to the Omnigate spell for now. Understood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't stupid, right? I knew Barrett would hide it here. This is one of his favorite places. You got Omni Barrett again? I'll have to try it out at home tomorrow. Good morning, Arya. Good morning, Mom. You're up pretty early today. Yeah, I just can't sit still. I didn't mean to activate this. I was trying to have the option to do it next time. Whatever. I. <sighs> All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Omnigate. It didn't work. Oh. Arya. Dad! Your magic was able to reach me, Arya. Dad, Daddy! Honey! I'm finally home, Mana. Welcome back! I'm sorry I was away for so long. It's okay, I knew in my heart that you'd come home one day. I won't ever, I will never leave again. Robins? I promise. Dad, there's so much I want to tell you about. Going to school, working on the farm, playing with my friends, causing headaches for mom. And so much more. So, so, so much, much more than that. I'm bursting. <laughs> there's no need to rush things, Arya. Dad, we have plenty of time. You can tell me all about everything. Yeah. I did it. I thought there'd be more to that, but I did it. That's the end. 
the end of Rune Factory 2. We hit the credits once again. I guess this is where I talk about technically my final thoughts, because I think that's the end of the game. Um, first off, I want to apologize how long it's taken to get through these two games, especially the second one. Um, I will be trying to make a better effort to put out videos more often and just be better about editing, recording, hopefully getting a little less depressed. Um, I just, this has been so much fun. I've, I freaking love these games. I think they're an absolute treat. And technically this isn't the end. I still have some more to do in Rune Factory 2. But hitting the end of this, it's, ha it's a good, it's a good feeling. I have to go back and I have to record stuff for Rune Factory 1 even. I haven't done any of the bows. Well, I've done some of the bonus content, but I haven't finished everything with the game. I don't think I've shown off all the marriage stuff. I have more to do with that, and that was years ago. In this game, I still have a lot of that same stuff to do. I have to finish off my ship list. I have to craft everything. I have to, you know, finish off everyone's relationship stuff, all the requests. So this isn't the end. This isn't goodbye. But this is the end of the story. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can actually start streaming. If I can start streaming, I will try to start playing Rune Factory Frontier as a stream game. If anyone wants to come out and watch that, um, it'll be over on my Twitch. I don't really stream much on YouTube. Part of that is that I don't get money from YouTube. <laughs> I don't get money from Twitch currently either, but it is a potential thing. I'd love to be able to make a little bit of money doing this and showing people why I love these games. They're janky at times, as I showed last episode, but very unbalanced. All of the games are unbalanced. I'll be very clear on that. Some of them are way too hard, some of them are way too easy. But I have a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna let the credits roll unless this is the end of it, and then I just talk through the entirety of it. Just, thanks for watching. And I hope you had a fantastic day. From both Aaron and Aria. Not from Kyle, though. Forget that guy.